um, I've waited a while to uh, actually make this video. Um, yeah, it's been about 48 hours now at this point. Um, Stanley, uh, two days ago, passed away. And um, I, I think I took it really hard. I really did. Um, I was able to meet him, like, uh, 2015 at uh, Awesome Con, which is a great pleasure. Not only then, but he also, I met him before that, um, no, after that as well, again, in 2016, when he signed the comic for me. Um, and it's just, the reality is, there are a few, like, creators that have revolutionized what the entertainment industry is in and of itself, but Stan revolutionized the ideals and the possibilities of superhero immersion that is the entertainment industry right now. So it's like, even though Tim Burton made, you know, the Batman 1989 that I know and love, you know, Stan Lee made the character that I know and love, which is Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my second favorite superhero of all time. Um, Spider-Man with Tom, uh, Sam Raimi, um, uh, Tobey Maguire was the movie that kind of revolutionized what superhero movies could be for me personally um, and the capability, you know, and it's just all that inspiration, all that love came from him. And not only that, he was cameoed in every single one of the shows, the movies, um, everything creative, like he's made. I think he even's got a cameo in uh, Into the Spider Verse, if I'm not mistaken. But it's like he wasn't just a lover of just the things that he created. Of course, like Iron Man, Hulk, and Spider Man. But he also was a lover of just the the, the creation of of conceptual ideals and, and 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 striving for greatness. I mean, when you got characters like Black Panther, but then you got like characters like Captain America. Like those are two distinctly different characters, but this man's impartation of love was carried and transcended over to live action and it's like what he was able to do is just um he inspired us all you know what i'm saying he inspired me specifically on so many different levels even if you know he didn't direct a movie um what his characters do for me even now really helped me on so many different levels and so that's why I but um but his legacy um legit will never lose steam it will always resonate with all of us in some way shape or form not even just the comic book fans but everyone is affected by the characters this man has created um and it's like him and bob kane like they're the pioneers on so many different levels i mean of course alan moore of course but stan was such a, just a good dude man like it is it's gonna be rough you know, going through these new movies and just just the legacy of what he's left behind um, without him, you know. But he did live a fulfilling life. I think he was married 60 years plus. His wife just died last year. He was 95 years old, but he really was a blessing to all of us in some way, shape, or form. So my prayers go out to his family and his, and his, and his friends and just everybody that he touched, like, in this mourning process that they might see God's face because, you know, he is in a better place. But um, I did want to react to this one final um, message he left for his fans, and um, hopefully I don't get emotional. Let's, let's see. It's just a minute and 38 seconds. We got, again, the fans love your sense of humor, and, uh, and, and you know, it's... Well, it's, it's an equal love, if it, love fest. Because I love my fans, mm. I cannot tell you how much I love my fans. They sometimes at night I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, <laughs> ah, what's it all about, you know? And then I get a letter from a fan, or I read something, or I see something, or I remember something, and I realize. It's so lucky to have fans, fans who really care about you. And that's the reason I care so much about the fans, because they just, they make me feel so great. And there's something, if you think about it, that is wonderful about 
somebody caring about you as I care about them, whom you've never met, mm. who may live in another part of the world, but they care and you have something in common and occasionally you contact each other. And this business of fans, I think, is terrific. And I love them all. Mm. Mm. Man. <sighs> that was uh, that was special. It was really special. Um, if I don't react to anything else that uh, Stanley has done and created, this will probably be the most one that resonates with me the most because just his wording in that um, and his understanding and reciprocation of how this whole thing works uh, it's, it's amazing um, because he's he's absolutely factual in that you know some people never met Stan some people never had the honor of being able to know him but they love what he's done know what he's brought to their lives and the love is there you know what I'm saying and it's like ultimately if we all had that kind of love for each other, we'd be in such a better place as a nation and as a people in general. But um, prayerfully, the legacy transcends not just the superhero genre or the artist genre or the film genre or the comic book genre, but like it, it goes elemental in the sense of love. Uh, that's my prayer um, moving forward for Stan's legacy, and hopefully I abide by that as well. But um, hopefully y'all enjoy this reaction. Hopefully y'all enjoy this. Um, it's, I guess, I don't know. Uh, sending off a farewell of the legend, the man, the myth, Stanley. Stay blessed.